Hi, this is Chris from Dan330 and Four Kids and a Chicken. Today we're going to make a roast chuck and we're going to pull it. Um, it's going to be a really fun recipe. It's really great at the end. Um, just thought we'd make a little video of it to kind of demonstrate how we do it. We have detailed instructions on our blog, Four Kids and a Chicken. We'll put a link in there below. But uh, basically, to get started, uh, you can see we've got two chuck roasts. We buy our beef from a local farmer. So these are right here from a uh, local Minnesota farmer. Uh, we live in the Twin Cities. And um, you know this is just going to be a, a cool way to to um, to show you how to use some local food and some local um, resources here. We're going to start by seasoning, and we've got salt, pepper, and a little garlic powder. And actually, not a little; it's quite a bit. You can kind of see. So what we're going to do is just going to stir this up. And you can adjust this to your own taste. If there's something else you want to put in there, that's fine. But a nice, uh, you know, good rub on the meat's going to be great. Just use your hands. Go ahead and just put this all over. A couple pats will help it stick. Both sides here. I wish you could see me right now because I'm totally doing that cartoon thing where I'm trying not to sneeze. All right, now that we've got them covered with our seasoning, we're gonna let them sit just for a little bit, just let it kind of soak in, let the, the juices kind of uh, get these a little wet and just kind of so it's gonna stick when we put it on our grill. Uh, it won't take more than five or 10 minutes. Now, uh, the next step is we're gonna go outside. I've got a Traeger pellet grill out there. We're gonna get this thing started and uh, we're gonna start about 200, 225 degrees for a few hours, just let the smoky, um, let's just get inside the meat, get that little crust on the outside. It's going to be a great start, and then we've got a couple steps after that that uh, I think you're going to love. All right, the next step is we want to put these on the grill. You can see we've got the smoker going, and uh, we're just going to lay them on and let this process start. This is going to be about three hours or so. We'll kind of come out and check them as we go, but, uh, but there it goes. We'll start the timer. All right, so we've been smoking meat here and uh, what we want to do is put it in a pan I had one onion for each one of the roasts so I've got two onions in here really gonna try to fit both of these into the same pan so we've got the two onions the two roasts and four cups of a beef broth. And we're gonna put it back in until it is fully cooked. When it gets to like that 150 to 170 degree internal temperature, we're gonna cover it and then keep cooking it until it gets to a little over 200. Then uh, it'll be much better for shredding. If you see to the right, we have another one of our real popular recipes. That's our smoked baked beans. I'll link to that in the comments in case you wanna make that as well. So the temperature's rising and uh, these are all heating up and you can see that uh, we're just gonna let this keep cooking. Temperature is about 160 now. We're gonna let go a little bit more, then we're gonna cover this until it comes up to 200. Okay, the roasts are done. Uh, remember, we had two in here, so I'm gonna take the smaller one. And we're gonna eat that as a roast tonight, and the larger one we're gonna leave in here. Come back, and we're gonna shred to make a shredded roast beef. 